the Museum of Making and Mending. Patterns. I bought a pattern from my favourite frisk from Munce Brothers on the main street. The fine Shentown mix of silk and cotton came from Camir's and the fitted bodice and flare skirt was perfect for dancing. That's me. Oh, stew, let the cut, cheap cut to meat now. Above in Sullivan's. Where, where, where do we get our meat? We get, we get our beef in fields today yeah. because we'd have to go to town. Yes. And a long ago, my mother would go to Barney's, McCarthy's. Oh, okay. You heard of Barney's, did you? Yeah. You did the course. Let it beat the cheap cuts and include the bones because they'd be good for making soup. Let the goodness and the marrow join the broth. Let the tears fall as you chop the onions. Let the pearl barley swell in the juices. Let the vegetables be anything you have. Let it cook slowly. Be patient. Let the workers finish it. Let the children enjoy any remains. Let the rain wash the dishes. Let the storm pass over. Let the sun shine on the metal. Yeah, I remember this well. <laughs> I did. <laughs> the young waiter in line to Piccadilly is wearing a white cardboard collar and penguin chest, black tail and bow tie. From table to table he moves gracefully to the music whilst carrying the silver tray of lamb shanks high above his head. Tell me. My mother took the material from the tail of my everyday worn shirt to neatly cover its frayed collar and cuffs. My father's old trousers were cut off at the knee length for my eldest brother, then shortened further for the next. Boy and so on, shortened and shortened until me and after me they became dusters. 